Hi, my name is Alyssa Lusink, and I am the business leader here at Ignite Enterprises. And I am so excited to welcome you to our Tupperware team. And you just received your Tupperware kit, and I just love that your kit comes in this beautiful box sitting on, and um, it just looks so gorgeous. I love my Tupperware kits too, and you can make details like that. So let's take a look inside and what you've gotten. First of all, the very first thing Tupperware gives you is our um, little apron, a branded apron. It's really, really nice. Um, and I love this because it allows you to walk into your party, dress for success, maybe plain um, black capris, plain white blouse, throw in your apron, and now you're in your Tupperware uniform, and everybody knows that you are the Tupperware person of the night. Um, rather than kind of guessing who might be who, you actually are branded out right from the get-go. And then they give you a bag to carry your entire kit in, and yes, this bag does hold everything in this kit bag that I'm going to, or in this box that I'm going to show you. It is branded, so you're able to um, walk in looking professional. It has a short handle. It also has a long handle that attaches, and a couple of pockets to keep all of your um, calculator, your pens, catalogs, that kind of thing, all separate and organized. And so that is wonderful. And then you're going to get product. And I'm going to share with you some of the, uh, the products that come in here. This is the very first. It is our Classic Impressions Bowl Set. And I love this bowl set because it actually is classic, but it's also beautiful um, and timeless, and everybody loves them. So it's a three-piece bowl set. So you have, I'm going to get some them right now, your 18 cup. And this one you want to walk around the edges, and then when you're opening it, you'll put your palm, you see this uh, circle right here? Put your palm in the center and pop it open like that. Um, and using a countertop surface versus your body, the open a bowl is always the most safe way to open your Tupperware seals. Then you have your 10 cup bowl, once again, walking it around, and your six cup bowl. So you're able to have a three piece bowl so that you can use these for every single party, family gathering, serving, storing. I love them for a couple of reasons. One is Tupperware can use them, make them a very beautiful shape and design. Um, the outside, including the seal, is a matte finish. So it's a very um, kind of a frosted glass look because it's matte on the outside and shiny on the inside. So it looks very, very beautiful um, as a serving piece. But if you take it outside or to a park or a picnic and it gets dropped, you're not going to notice any scratching on the outside or is as noticeable because it is that frosted look. And then the inside is going to be a beautiful shine. So when you go to scoop out your food, you're going to see a beautiful shimmer and shine and kind of keep your the reflection of light. It just looks gorgeous. Um, and then the seals are kind of unique. And you can see, I don't, if you look at it straight on, it's kind of domed. Um, and what they've done is they put that circle in the center to remind you of how to open the seal, but also so that you can place the base of the bowl. It just nestles right in there, and it doesn't wiggle. And it allows you to use your um, seal as a pedestal for your bowl. So when you go to the park, go to the picnic, go to the friend's house, you're having a barbecue at church, um, you know, gathering, whatever it might be, you're able to serve your um, salad dressing, your salad, your fruit salad, your potato salad, whatever it is, in here. And the seal, even if it has a little bit of, you know, sauce from the um, dressing or something on it, when you set it down on the table, it's domed and it's not going to be getting on the tablecloth. Even if this is filled with potato salad, it doesn't bend under pressure. And you're able to keep it all together and then you're not going to find your seal somewhere being played frisbee with the kids or maybe you've lost completely and have to go home with a Tupperware seal on a little you know, saran wrap or something like that. Um, on top of which, they designed these um, especially um, different, and you know we all know that Tupperware bowls nest, right? We know that. However, these are the only bowls whose seals nest with them. So when you get ready to put this away in your cabinet, it's sealing one bowl, putting one bowl away, and all the seals together, so you're not storing and searching for those seals all over the place. Um, couple of tips. I love these for serving so many things. I've said potato salad, pasta salad, right? This little guy is perfect for doing all of your artichoke dips and that kind of thing. Big bag of chips, um, whatever your party might consist of. And so you're going to need more than one of these sets, right? Because you're going to have your chips and your fruit salad and your salsa maybe. And then you're going to want to have your um, potato salad and your um, uh, little cookies and maybe your, salsa, your um, artichoke dip, right? Or your salsa. I didn't say before. Um, one of the fun serving tips that I've learned from this is you can fill this one with ice, and you're going to take this one and nestle it right down inside like that, so it kind of acts as a little halo. It looks really beautiful. I kind of have it stacked a little bit like that when I do that. I fill this one with
good um, cocktail sauce, and then you can actually have around the outside edge all of your shrimp, and you can overfill it because it's ice. You don't have to worry about it getting too hot throughout your party, so you're not having to refill throughout the afternoon or evening, um, and always worrying about if there's enough shrimp out. You can just keep refilling. And so that's one of my favorite pieces. So I'm going to set that aside, and then you get kind of a twist, a new twist on an old classic, and that is our quick shake container. You probably remember your mom making homemade salad dressing or ranch dressing or something in yours at home. They've new and improved it, and what they've done is they've added to a capacity, so it's now um, two and a half cups versus just the two cups. Um, it has milliliters on the other side as well. The seal's a twist on versus a seal, so if you're doing hot gravy or something like that, um, you still want to keep your finger on the top when you're shaking because the pressure can build up because look at all those clumps out of your gravy as you're making it. But it's not going to um, pop the seal right here and always, you know, release that so that the steam can get out um, when you're doing your gravy. You don't want it to pop open on its own. The other thing is, is that if you're doing like a protein shake in it, you can pop this open all the way and take it with you, you know, seal it, take it with you on the go, open it when you're ready to drink. When you're ready to drink, it's not flipping back and hitting you in the face. So that allows you to have um, that control and not have, you know, a smoothie on your forehead. Um, then, let me unchoose this so you guys can see the inside. It has this little whip. And this whip has a whip on one side. So if you want to maybe make baby formula, shake it right up, all of the clumps are gone. Um, and then the open side allows you to pour. So if you're doing maybe more of a thicker, like a homemade ranch, you can still whip it up, but it will pour out really, really easily um, when you're ready to pour. Um, the other thing that it's great for is making martinis because it holds back the ice. Um, and you can, I'm getting so many different things. Um, but the seal, I want to make sure you understand, is because it's a twist seal instead of a Tupperware push-on seal, you want to twist it seal. When you twist it seal like this, it actually will create an air pocket because of the force, and it will start to leak. So instead of twisting it close like that, just use the um, flip cap handle to twist it on, and that will get a tight seal without it leaking um, and creating that air pocket. The other fun tip for this is if you can, you can actually crack a dozen eggs, put a dozen eggs in here without their shell, of course. Take the whip out unless you want scrambled eggs. Um, and then each morning when you're ready to have breakfast, you can pop out however many eggs you want to make that day and they fly out one at a time versus um, having to store a crate of eggs or a package of eggs in your ice chest and trying to do something to snack while you travel. Um, now, the one thing to know is that your last egg will have a little bit more egg white than everything else because it does come out with egg white, but a little is left behind each time. So your last egg will have a little bit more egg white, which would mean your last day you have to whip that egg goes a little bit further than every other day, right? So just another fun tip. Um, then I have in here a Modular Mate Rectangle 2. Modular Mates are one of the reasons why I joined Tupperware. I wanted my entire kitchen customized with these. And if you aren't familiar with our Modular Mates, I love them because you can organize your whole pantry doing your flour, your sugar, your rice, your baking center, your pasta center, your rice center, your um, breakfast center, your snack center, and have everything sealed in a Tupperware container. These are airtight seals, so you don't have to worry about staleness. Nothing can get in or out, which is so important. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more in a second. Um, and they're modular, so they stack up really easily. So this is just one piece. At one of the future trainings, I'm going to be able to teach you about how to do custom kitchen planning, how to create those centers in someone else's home and how to, and even your own, and be able to organize your whole pantry, your bathroom, your office, your craft supplies with modular mates so they aren't going to be um, causing, you know, funky and it looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, you are going to love it. Um, and you also can do that as a service for your customers. So let me share a little bit more about this. It's a clear view, clear view window. You can see exactly what's inside and how much you have in there so that that way when you um, are going to get ready to go to the grocery store, you open up your pantry doors, your cabinet doors, and you can write your grocery list just based on what's inside here. And you're not um, splurge buying maybe the two-for-one um, box of Cheerios, or not Cheerios, I always buy Cheerios, but um, Oreo cookies, because two-for-one Oreo cookies, um, you know, for me, I don't have a place in my kitchen for them, and so that means I eat them like all at once. So this keeps you from doing splurge spending. Um, if you're hungry at the grocery store, right? Um, and then the other thing that it does is, like I said, that seal is airtight or is airtight, so nothing can get in or out. So nothing can get in. Let's talk about that first. We don't want bugs in our food, right? We don't want 
ants. We don't want any little critters to be able to find our food and get in. And the beauty of this is because it's airtight, bugs and other critters cannot smell your food because it's sealed. So you're not going to have them coming into the house. Whether you live in a new home and new construction and you're tilling up the ground and so those ants are coming in looking for food, or you live in the country or wherever, you're going to have experienced ants, I'm sure, at least one time in your lifetime. And the beauty of this is they can't find your food because they can't smell it. So that is a one plus. And then the other thing is nothing you get out. And unfortunately, you can take home bugs and your flower. But these little weevil bugs and probably you or your mom or your grandmother keep your flower in your freezer, right? And that way, no bugs can get into anything else. And the problem with those bugs is those bugs don't actually let they eat your food, but they also eat the glue that holds the boxes and bags together. So your brand new, when you put that bag of flour in your pantry and it has bugs in it, they travel from every box and bags. So your sealed cake mix can be contaminated. Your open box of chips can be contaminated. Your cereal, whatever it is, it's able to go through and actually, they'll just eat everything and eat through the glue. And they can even eat and burrow through the glue that holds your cabinets together. So it's really important. You don't want those in your pantry. And here, if they were to take it home and you put your five pound bag of flour because that's what fits in here in here and those little buggies race the surface of the flour they're not going to find any air you're going to notice that there's bugs in it right throw out the flour outside get rid of it put your module mate through the dishwasher go buy yourself a new bag of flour but nothing has been contaminated in your um, kitchen and you're able to take home your um you're, you're going to be able to still eat all that food right instead of throw it away now your flour in your freezer I know you guys are thinking, well, I just keep my flour in my freezer, so I don't have to worry about it. Well, okay, so maybe your other food doesn't have bugs in it, but if there's bugs in that flour, you never found out because they never had a chance to hatch. The eggs never had a chance to hatch, which means you're just eating the bug eggs and cookies and pancakes, whatever it might be. And I don't know about you, but I do not want any bug eggs in my cookies. I want them to be clean and tasteful and pure and delicious. Um, so I highly recommend modular mates, as you can tell. One of my favorite products. Why I joined Pecora, like I said, I just modern and kitchen customized. Um, and now 16 years later, Pecora has changed my life. So you'll hear more about that too in the next um, gatherings. So the other thing that I love about this size, okay, so this is a five pound bag of flour. It also has five pounds of sugar, but it holds a standard bag of chips. So you know, I hate a bag of chips. You buy a flavor, maybe you're testing it out. Maybe you think your family loves it and then you get home and they eat food three handful, whatever, and then you decide that's not the kind of chips they like anymore, so then they're going to open a new bag of chips, and then three days later, the first bag of chips is completely stale, the second bag, bag of chips is almost stale, and there's still three quarters of the bag in both of the bags. So frustrating, right? So you can just pour that whole bag. This will hold a one-pound bag of chips right inside of here. It doesn't look like it because those bags have a lot of air in them, but this actually will hold it sealed up, and they'll never go stale, which is so wonderful. The other thing that you can do is grab crackers. They don't go stale. We have um, taller containers for your cereal, they don't go, it doesn't go stale, so um, definitely pop into our custom kitchen planning training because you are going to want to learn how to get your kitchen and your customers' kitchens all customized with new modular mates. Then we have in here something new and revolutionary, and I love that Tupperware um, really takes the time to reinvent um, themselves and also find new ways that they can help people save time and money and get healthier. Um, at the same time. So this is our beautiful breakfast maker. And this breakfast maker can do eggs, oatmeal, quinoa, um, cream of wheat, um, French toast, um, all in under two to four minutes, omelets, scrambled eggs. And um, so in the morning when you're on the rush and you know breakfast is the most important day, instead of grabbing a protein bar and hoping that it sustains you, or a bagel, or a cup of coffee and that's it, you're able to make yourself and your family a healthy breakfast um, omelets, two to four egg omelets in two to four minutes, um, or scrambled eggs, or you can do, um, oh my goodness, it's so amazing, oatmeal, and it doesn't like, you can do oatmeal in here, it will serve about two, it's a, it's a big portion, but it doesn't bump and explode all inside your microwave and then you have to heat it up every time, it's so easy, and everything slides right out, your eggs slide right out, your omelet slides right out, um, just so, so, so good, and um, then you're out able to give your family a healthy start. And I started with just one of these in my kitchen, and now I have about three. Um, and Tupperware actually has inserts that you can get that go inside your new poached eggs. So you can do like egg muffins in the microwave in two minutes. It is awesome. So make sure that you start eating healthy and using this right away in your kitchen so you can 
have experience with it. Then we have our measuring cups and spoons. And our measuring cups and spoons are like the classic piece that you're going to find um, everybody's going to kind of relate to. You know, my grandma had those. My mom had those. Oh, my gosh, I love them. They're so neat. And that's the purpose. Um, not only that you're going to need measuring cups and spoons to be cooking at your parties, but Tupperware wants you to have something that kind of gets people reminiscing of their round Tupperware. And this set is unique than from any other out there. It's a six-piece set for both. And the one cup, of course, and your half cup, and your third cup, and your quarter cup, but also it has a two-thirds cup and a three-quarter cup. So you're not having to um, measure quite so many times. You're able to make sure you're accurate. They're also made for liquid and solid measurements, so they're both um, wonderful. They were rated one of the most accurate on the market by um, Better Home and Gardens. So they got the seal of approval, so that's really cool. Um, and Or Good Housekeeping. Oh, I said two. I think it's Good Housekeeping. Um, they're featured in one of their cookbooks. Um, so then this has um, a, a really tight fit as well. Because of the six, there's not quite a gap in between. So when you put these in your drawer, if you open and close it a lot, it's not going to wiggle and cause a big mess in that drawer. It's actually going to stay put. And then if you're measuring, and I like to bake a lot, we'll use a half cup. You know, you have a recipe that calls for a half cup of um, brown sugar packed, right? Um, instead of getting out a spoon and try to pack it down in there, these are the perfect fit. So you actually put your brown sugar in, and you can just pack down with the back side of the next size down, and it will pack perfectly and tightly, and now you have your packed sugar without having to try to wedge a different utensil inside of there. So measuring cups. Our measuring spoons, also a six-piece set, and they're unique because they don't have a ring on the end, but they do clip together. So when they're in your drawer, they're not going to go all over the place, but you also can wash them individually. So let's say you have a recipe called for and it gets put in the dishwasher, and the next morning, the dishwasher hasn't done yet, and it's so dirty, and you need to use another tablespoon, you can use a half a tablespoon, because Tupperware is giving you a half tablespoon measurement, and you can do it twice without having to worry about this, and not having to find the whole pack in your dishwasher and wash them all, right? Um, the other thing that they've done, and I'm not sure, oh, you can see. Notice how it rests just perfectly flush there, so you can pre-measure all of your ingredients and have them rest on your counter, whether they're liquid or solid, and you can have little ones help you bake, and rather than getting um, the wrong measurement, maybe a teaspoon of salt is what you need, but they put a tablespoon in because they see the number one and the T, and they think that's got to be right, you can actually pre-measure all of those things and then tell them when to put them into the bowl so you're not having that. And then the other added size, they have an extra half tablespoon, but they also have an eighth of a teaspoon. So when you're trying to make a half recipe or quarter recipe, you're able to do it accurately and not worry about if your cookies are going to end up lumpy because you guessed how much um, brown or how much powdered sugar or excuse me, the baking powder or baking soda is an eighth of a teaspoon. You can actually measure it accurately. So another fabulous tool. Then Tupperware gives you. Oh, before we get to this, I have to show you this. Our can opener. Our can opener is the best on the market. It's really ergonomic, so when you're turning it, whether you're right or left-handed, it's very easy to hold. It doesn't have any sharp edges um, that are, you know, bulky and clunky. Um, but what it does is it actually cuts the seal of your can in half. So your blade never touches food. And it actually works on the top of your container. You have to watch our product video. Um, a little later because we're going to be, um, you'll see this in action, right? Um, so it goes right on the top, twists clockwise, it breaks free, it looks like it's still sealed. And what happened is the blade actually cut through the glue on the seal, on the outside of the seal. The blade never cut any food because we can see it when you take the seal off. And then you're able to rest this right on top and lift the seal off. You'll put it right in the trash, and now you have your can that's no sharp edges on the seal or the can. And you can recycle it, you can use it for projects, you don't have to worry about kids getting cut on it trying to figure out how you can make it less sharp. Um, and you will always have your um, can opener handy dandy. Now, there is one rule about our can opener. Because it never touches food, what do you think? It never needs to be washed. So this is number one rule. You may not wash your can opener. Do not put it in the sink. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do not get it wet because you will ruin the mechanism on the inside with this water in there. If you happen to spill on it, and if your hands were contaminated or something, use a sanitizing wipe to wipe it, but do not get this wet because it will ruin your can opener, okay? Everybody hear that. Do not get this wet. 
Now on to my, the fridge charm. Again, another product that Tupperware has um, totally revolutionized how I shop, how I eat, and how um, a lot of Americans do too. They've done some research and about an uh, average American throws away 60% of their produce because it goes bad before they can eat it. And they designed the Fridge Smart with that in mind to help people be able to be healthier, eat healthier, and make their dollar go further. Because every fruit and veggie, it may not seem like very much that you're throwing out, but if you buy $4 worth of broccoli and ends up going to trash, you are you're throwing away $4 worth of broccoli, right? So how it works is it has these little feet on the bottom, and that elevates it off the base of um, your veggies off the base of the container. So as they start to age and their moisture starts cutting out, instead of sitting in it and making it rot more quickly, it actually is elevated out of that, that moisture. Um, and it, you know we've all done this. We're going to eat healthy starting on Monday. So we go grocery shopping. We buy all these fruits and veggies. We put them in there, our um, crisper drawer. And then when we get home, we put it away. And, you know, the first night there's soccer practice went late. And then the next night there's um, – um, you work late, and then the next night, someone invited you over to dinner, and the next night, you're like, okay, I'm going to eat healthy now, right? You go to open your drawer, and it's this slimy, and this maybe you could pick some pieces off, but it's, like, really gross, and you don't want to deal with it, and it's already kind of late, so you just call for pizza that's not very healthy, right? Or pull something out of the freezer that's unhealthy, and shut that drawer right into garbage tape, right? I, I used to do this before Fridge Smart, so I know you've done it. You close the drawer to the garbage tape, because you don't want your garbage stinking, and then on garbage day or the night before, you pull your garbage can right over to the fridge and you just take those drawers out and you dump it all in the trash can. You've done it. You know you have. And I just want you to imagine all that being a dollar bill. So you're just throwing it away because that's what's happening. And then you take it out to the big trash and you start the cycle all over again. And with Fridge Smart, you're going to double your lifespan. That's what Fridge Smart says or what Tupperware says about it. I found it's about triple or quadruple the lifespan. And so they not only have the little bottom, but they have this little seal on the, this little venting system on the top. And it has um, a half moon is a little bit of air. Um, a solid moon is no air. And the um, open moon is a, a little bit more air. More air. And Tupperware actually studied how fruits and vegetables age and what kind of environment they stay their peak freshness at. And so if you were looking at this chart from the front, and I love this chart. It's actually um, embedded in. Here, I'll get my circle so you guys can see. Um, it's, it's embedded in the side, so it's never going to scratch away, never going to wear away. But if you're looking at it like that and you can read the word Tupperware on the seal, it's hard to see anymore, but it's etched on there. Then this slider actually matches up with this picture. So over here is the half moon, and that's like lettuce. Any kind of lettuce is a half moon, and I have found my lettuce usually lasts about three to four weeks, perfectly fresh. Um, and then you have the middle, and that's um, the no air, and that's like your strawberries and button mushrooms, carrots, celery, that kind of thing. Strawberries, about two to three weeks. And of course, epilis depends on how ripe it is when you got it home from the grocery store. But this is what I found on average. Um, my carrots, because I have whole carrots instead of baby carrots, because baby carrots are cut up with a metal blade, and the minute they touch that metal, they start to go bad, just like that bagged lettuce. Okay, it's gonna last a little longer in your fridge smart, but if you buy whole lettuce and whole carrots, they'll actually last extremely longer because they're not that, they're not getting um, chemically imbalanced by that metal. But your carrots, if you buy whole carrots, they will last 8 to 12 weeks. I am not kidding. I go to Costco, I buy a big 10-pound bag every three months or so. It is amazing. Um, two to three months, I should say. And then um, the um, celery does a hula dance usually in your fridge in about two to three days. In here, they're going to be lasting about up two weeks. Then all the way to the other side is this little column with lots of air, and there's only a few that need a lot of air, like your spinach and your broccoli. And like I said, broccoli, um, I love broccoli. Our family loves broccoli, and um, but I sometimes still forget to serve it because I don't want to eat it every single day, right? And so in here, it will last about three to four weeks. It's perfect. It's not browny, not gooey, not slimy, not rubbery, not stinky. Just perfect. You can just pull it right out and eat it. You can forgot about it, or you know maybe you had other things going on. And then this column right over here, there's a little X in those. And that means these fruits and veggies shouldn't be refrigerated because in a cold environment, they actually lose their flavor. They don't go bad, but they lose their flavor. So like tomatoes and avocados and fruits with that nut, like peaches and plums, you want to make sure that you keep those on the countertop in a warm um, room temperature environment. And what I do with those, because sometimes, you know, they start to go bad if you leave them out for too long. So that last day, I know I will eat them, you know, like my bananas, that very last day. And then I'll put them in the fridge, and they'll be able to, or in the fridge smart on the low setting, and that allows them to 
stay where they are without going more back, um, like your, av your avocados, it will lose a little flavor, but then you'll be able to taste the sea and that's where it probably ends up going. Um, so I love that. And, you know, we have, we have a four-piece set. Now, I have about three or four of those four-piece sets in my fridge at all times um, because I'm able to go grocery shopping once a month for my whole family, and I um, stack them on the shelves. My drawers are, are my junk drawers for my fridge, so I have one drawer that has all of our cheese and lunch meats and, um, like, all the things we use to build a sandwich. So we do wraps in our house, so we have um, tortillas in it. Okay, that goes on one side. The other side is our yogurts and any leftovers in Tupperware containers that can go in there because we're not going to leak, right? That all goes inside of there. And those are our junk drawers. And then I have one long bottom, you know, the one that's like the jelly one in your fridge, you know, these mini fridges. Um, I have those filled with Tupperware Eco water bottles so that you can just like this one. See, just like this one. So they're preloaded just like those, um, the ones you would buy the disposable kind, but you're able to pull them out one at a time. Oops, that's one of my tips. But these go on the shelves, and I can see through them. And when I can see my fruits and veggies, I'm going to eat them, right? So those are on the shelves, and and they don't take up the whole fridge. Don't worry. There's still plenty of space for my milk and my juice and um, my dinner that maybe I pre-made the night before. But across the top and down one side is all fridge smart, and then my drawers take care of everything else. When you open the fridge, it looks really neat and tidy, even if my junk drawers are kind of a mess. Um, and so I love that. And you will save so much money. You're not going to throw it away. And then if you do forget, right, and it's getting towards the end of the time, they're still fresh. You can either eat them that day or freeze them or put them in the um, uh, blender and use them for a smoothie, right? So I'm going to – and then Tupperware gives you one of my favorite tools, um, and it's called our Power Chef. And this is our chopper. Let me just get it unwrapped. It chops, whips, blends, and emulsifies so much fun. So, a couple of different pieces. First of all, the most important thing to know when you're just getting started is, do you see that blue ring on the bottom? That's our rubber gripper, so it doesn't walk all over the place when you are chopping on your countertop. But it comes on the inside of your um, container, so take that out before you first use it. Um, I made the mistake once of not doing that, and I chopped it to shreds, so be careful. Um, and then this just clips right on the bottom like that, and it allows you to take it on and off every time you put it through the dishwasher, and that way you don't have to worry about it um, building up bacteria or anything inside that little space, right? Um, so I love that Tupperware did that for you. It has a blade that is extremely sharp, and um, it ha comes a blade cover, so make sure that you keep that blade cover so you don't end up cutting yourself on the blade when it's being stored. So you have your blade, it has this little ring that clips right on the top, and then it has the motor. And how this works is you just, now, always use it on the countertop when you're chopping, but I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see, but it always, you just pull the cord like you're starting a lawnmower, or somebody told me recently like you're starting a chainsaw, okay? So you'll just chop it like that. It has um, measurements on the sides. So you can pre-measure everything. You can, um, the fill line, everything below the fill line is going to chop. Everything above the fill line is going to blend. So if you're doing um, a smoothie, for example, for maybe the whole family, because this is um, uh, six cups, you're able to put your frozen fruit, some juice, blend it up, put it below the fill line. Oh, it's not quite enough for everybody to enjoy. Add more frozen fruit once you've blended a little bit more juice, and kind of just use your spatula and press it down in the inside, and it'll keep it down on the bottom. And you'll be able to keep pulling, um, right, and add more volume. But you can do smoothies, you can do your salsa, chop your onions, um, your guacamole. You can use it for your um, baby food. It'll chop up baby food beautifully. Um, then you get this piece. It's a whip. Let me get this open. This whip blade does cake mixes, pancakes. Um, it whips and emulsifies. So whipping, of course, we know what that is. It does whipping cream and um, scrambled eggs. But it also emulsifies. So you can actually do, like, homemade ranch and homemade um, mayonnaise. And none of it will never separate out later. So it's another fun piece. Let's pop this back in. Now, let's say you're doing a pesto. You want to chop all your dry ingredients, get them the right consistency, but then you have to add olive oil, right? And this little guy is a funnel. This little piece just pops right over like that. And then 
this position it's closed and in this position it's open. So you're able to put it this way, measure what you need, and flip it and it will drizzle right in and then you can chop as you're going. It also comes with a seal. So let's say you want to make your um, salsa the night before. You can seal it off. Take your blade out, of course, and seal it off. Um, and then be able to stick it right in the fridge. Now, the one problem with that is, is then you won't be able to be chopping um, anything later. So you may or may not want to use your seal for that purpose if you plan on chopping. A um, couple other things. It will shred chicken. So if you're making um, homemade enchiladas or um, tacos, you can throw your chicken breast in here. And I usually have my chicken breast cubed before I put it in there. And you want to do little bits at a time because it can be, that's the toughest thing to chop. Um, but it'll chop right up. You can make um, Oreo uh, Oreo blizzards in here. Oh my goodness. Now, in the catalog, you can get this one by itself or the little baby guy, which is about, for chop and prep, it's about this deep, which is perfect for herbs and individual um, tuna salads and that kind of thing. Love them together. And so you're going to want to pick up that one because I use them for different purposes in my home. Um, another thing you need to know is that, again, this cannot get wet, okay? The cord cannot get wet. So you always want to use a handy dandy citrus peeler. Now Tupperware gives you a whole pack of citrus peelers that you can use as giveaways at your parties. And I give each person who comes to my Tupperware party a citrus peeler, each adult. Um, but there's this little opening on the back side. You're going to use your citrus peeler to pop that apart. This can be put in the dishwasher. This needs to be set aside just like your can opener. Just wipe it with a sanitizer and wipe if you need to. Do not get it wet because it will ruin the cord, it will actually get unlumpy and it won't pull evenly anymore. So you want to make sure you do not get that wet. Then Tupperware gives you a couple other giveaways. They give you a Tupperware scoop. So in your modular mate, you're going to be able to ooh, use our rocker scoop. This is three quarters of a cup when you smooth it flat, um, but you can use it for your flour, your sugar, everything. It is my favorite scoop. I use it for my caramel corn that I make it during the holidays in my batsa bowl. Um, but in your flour, or your sugar especially, you always want to use plastic instead of metal because metal makes your a chemical reaction just like with the fruits and veggies that will actually make it get clumpy and yucky. You don't want that. Tupperware also equips you with, oh, where are the smidgets? Here they go. Oh, here they are. Threw them down here and didn't even notice. So these are our little tiny Tupperware bowls. They are actually real Tupperware bowls. They're an airtight, liquid-tight seal. And um, I love these because Tupperware gives them to you so that you can use for cleaning parties. People will do a backflip for these. So the only people who can get a Tupperware smidgen are people who hold a Tupperware party for you. Um, only, only, only. My mom didn't even get one until she had a Tupperware party for me. It's very important because if you end up giving these away other purpose um, just because they're your friend or whatever, then you've lost your power and your goal is your power. Your goal is basically, this is your goal. People will do anything for these things. So make sure that if they ask for one, great. When you have your party, I'd love to bring one to you. Then I have, they have little dating gifts. Now I'm not going to tell you all about this one because it changes with the kit, um, with our sale brochure, but it's an extra little gift that you can give your hostess when you arrive to our party as a dating gift. Thank you so much for dating your Tupperware party. Um, and it comes in a set of four. Um, you usually get them for just a couple of dollars, three to four dollars for the set of four. And I like to um, give my host extra challenges to earn a full set of four because one, for dating their party and um, held on the original date held. And then I give them another one so they can have a set of four, right? Another one when they have 10 or more adults in attendance. They get another one when they have $200 in prepaid orders online or in paper. And they get another one when they have two parties dated from their party before I arrive. And I love that stacking because then they can create a whole set and keep a whole set. It doesn't cost you a lot of money, um, but you are able to give them those extra gifts and incentives and you'll have a great party when, you, when they do all of those things. And then you also get in here, and this is one of my absolute favorites. You gotta save one of the best for us, right? They're all wonderful. And as you'll find, if you get to know me, I absolutely love Tupperware products because they really do save you so much time and money. But I mentioned earlier our spatula. And this is our saucy silicone spatula. It's heat resistant up to 425 degrees, so on the stove top, it's not going to melt. You're not going to end up eating plastic, right? It has a, a curved edge, so you can scrape the inside of bowls, and it's still flexible. It has a sharp edge, so you can get the first brownie out perfectly. It'll cut up cakes. Um, the blade, oh, it takes a little bit. 
comes right off. It's supposed to come off. So you can put it in the dishwasher and get it sanitized. So you don't have to worry again about any bacteria building up in there. And it's firm enough that you can actually take muffins out of the pan. You can take um, your um, whole, like a loaf out of the pan. Um, but it's also soft enough and flexible enough that it will just scrape inside your bowls clean. Um, I have probably at all times that use in my kitchen, now it's more, I probably have about 10 of these in my kitchen all the time. But I probably dirty all the time, it's about five almost this baking season. Then they're all dirty and I'm going back to my kit and pulling out more because I love these. And I'm just telling you, you're going to need about four. Oh, going back to the fridge smart, just a really quick tip is Tupperware settles it in a set of four. A set, four piece set is a great start for each person. And then at your parties, when they buy this four piece set, they're going to come back for more because they're going to want to fill in the gaps of the other veggies that they need. Um, this one's heavy box. This box is so fantastic. This little purple and teal box has all of your um, paper goods in it. And this is kind of the most important part of your kit. Not most important, but it, it's your business part. So here's your catalogs, your sale brochures. Now our catalogs, our full line catalogs, come out every four months. Um, there are three catalogs a year. And then we have our sale brochures, and these come out every month, middle of the month. So from the second week to the second week, basically. And those dates are all marked on the cover, so you know when they're at um, valid through. Set a cat order form so you can start taking orders right away. You get a Tupperware date book calendar so you can start filling in your goals and um, when your parties are and really talking to your family about when you can hold parties and when best suits you. It's also marked in here um, with different days. Um, our sales weeks, excuse me, our sales week always end on a Friday night at midnight local time and our sales month always end the last calendar Friday of the month. So August, for example, this year was the 26th. That was the last day of our um, month. So it's all marked in here so you know. It even tells you when payday is for your bonus checks. So um, that is a very, very great tool. It has some resources in there for you, too. It has for you um, Jubilee Flyer. Now, Jubilee is the biggest party of the year. It is our national conference. It's at, in Orlando at our national headquarters. You get to go, or international headquarters. You get to go see the beautiful campus. You get, um, it is the most fun thing ever. And you are going to want to earn it right away. Um, you have a chance to earn your, your chance to um, get your ticket and get registered. It's a $1,500 um, in sales, which is three standard parties to earn it, um, and one, one new recruit. And when you do that, add one person to your team and about three standard parties, you have the chance to register. And as a new consultant in your first 13 weeks in business, your rate is only $150, um, and that is significantly lower than everyone else's rate. And Tupperware limits the amount of people that can go. It's 3,000 seats only, so get registered right away before you won't have a chance any longer. On the back side of this is your Confidence Start um, program. It's that 13-week program that you can actually earn extra products to be added to your kit. For example, uh, at your first, your grand opening party, you're able, you are able to earn your calculator money bag so that when you go to the bank, everybody can see that you're the Tupperware lady, your Fridge Smart or a modular mate, and it keeps going down. The final gift that you get to choose is a an iPad or a complete cookware set. So you're really able to add value in. Um, our cookware set is about triple the value of an iPad, so it's amazing. And it's about one standard party per week that you need to do to earn the entire collection. Of course, they give you a pack of our sale, um, of our kit flyers, so you're able to go out and um, share the Tupperware opportunity with other people. Um, a pack of our um, post, post folders, excuse me, up so you can see. And I love it because it's all branded. It looks beautiful. It has a place for you to put the details of the party, your information, what do you need to do to have um, a great party. On the back, it has how do you invite people, what recipe are we going to be doing, what do you need to pick up for the ingredients, make sure they fall in line their friends the day before, and have fun. And then on the inside, it gives you all the information of the host program so they know what they can earn for free. And in here, it gives them a place to really fill out their wish list. I always put a, a catalog, three catalogs, three sale brochures, um, a sheet of our generic outside order forms. You can find that file on our website, as well as um, 40 guests in four minutes. And then I put uh, recruiting flyers on this side so they can really get the full picture of the Tupperware opportunity when they're naming their party. Um, then they give you some envelopes 
that are all branded as well. So if you need to pop that envelope in the mail, that folder in the mail, this, that folder will fit inside this envelope, and you can put it in the mail if they um, are going to be out of town or you're out of town. You're able to pop it right in the mail to them right away. And then you have these three books, and these three books are so important to your business. Um, this one is the Getting Started Guide. It has all the place for you to put your information on the back. And your heat book, where to go, right here, has a handy dandy pocket that this will slide right into, right here in the back, so you can keep it all together. And um, in here, it has everything that's in your kit. It has um, what to do, how you use your Power Chef, what are some of the rest things you can use at your parties when you're just getting started, um, how do you build your team, um, where do you start to hold parties? I mean, it really gives you tons of information about our um, website and how to um, get some of our business services, like discount on your cell phone bill and that kind of thing. So make sure you read that from cover to cover. Then we have, um, where will the party take you? And this is a great kind of getting started recruiting brochure. It talks about our kit, our Confidence Start program, has some stories of some of my friends in here, actually, and um, their successes and how they got started. And then the cover, then the, um, the career guide. And this is um, the further opportunities in Tupperware. This is one of my good friends um, right here on the cover. Um, but it has our car program, um, another one of my friends, our ultimate win program, fabulous vacations outlined in here. I'm actually featured right in here, your very own business leader. Um, so you are able to see our stories and how you can step up from consultant and become um, a business leader, um, a director, driving company car, whatever it might be. And the thing I love most about Tupperware is that when you see people um, on our videos, you're going to be watching on the My Week video, and on one of the next videos, we're going to be telling you all about but anybody from who's in these brochures, they started as a consultant just like you. Um, maybe a stay-at-home mom looking for some extra cash, maybe just wanting to make ends meet outside that full-time job, and you can make it happen in Tupperware, too, and any of these stories can become your so I really encourage you to take this box out, start using the product right away, get those first four to six parties in in the next two to three weeks to really give yourself a fresh start. If this box sits in the corner and starts to rot, your business will never take off and you'll be so bummed that you didn't take that advantage right at the get-go. But if you take advantage today and open this box today and date those first four to six parties, you are going to be so happy you did it because you will have taken control of your future in Tupperware. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you at one of our next events. Have a great day. Bye.